Lava from an erupting volcano on the Spanish island of La Palma has reached the sea, creating vast clouds of steam and, it's feared, toxic gases. Many homes and crops have been destroyed and thousands of people have been forced to leave their homes since the eruptions first began 11 days ago. Well, our correspondent Dan Johnson joins us live now tonight from La Palma. Evening, Dan. Good evening. Yes, that volcano is still really active and there is fresh lava flowing from new vents. There's an emergency team that's just driven up the road here with loudspeakers warning people that the wind direction has changed and that the sulphur levels are increasing in the air here, that people should go home and keep their windows closed. And this relentless eruption is not just affecting daily life here and people's livelihoods, it's actually changed the lay of the land. Welcome to the newest part of La Palma, a volcanic island extension that's growing all the time. And all this lava has destroyed a thousand homes and forced thousands more to be abandoned. Emily and Augustine are the latest to pack up, ready to leave, fearful it's heading their way. It won't stop. That's my one big fear that we're only just seeing the beginning. And there's Augustine's mom, Fried, and Aunt Maura, 96 and 97. They've both lived through two previous eruptions, 1949 and 1971, but now they've had enough. This is much worse than the other eruptions, Fried says. I'll be much calmer when I reach the other island. Everything is horrible. I mean, we're still lucky. We, we have the house. Uh, we're, we're, we're counting. I mean, hope is always stronger than, hopefully, stronger than fear, but we hope it will stay. Uh, the people, I have so many friends who lost their houses and, and everything. Everything. Round the clock, the lava keeps flowing, and new vents have opened up, threatening other villages. Ash is continually clouding these skies. So Janet's work is never done, because this volcanic grit just keeps falling. It's not easy. We never imagined this could happen. It's hard to see people without anywhere to live. On this island, we are a family. There's a huge exclusion zone being patrolled by the Coast Guard because although that's mostly steam being given off when the lava hits the water, there's also a risk toxic gases are released as well. And nobody knows how much more lava is going to flow into the sea. There's no sign of this ending anytime soon. Fishermen like Elian can only watch and wait. It said the fish all swam away just before the eruption. We don't know what the future will be like because there are fewer fish. I don't see a future here if they don't help us. Do you think you'll leave La Palma? Si. Others are adapting to this strange new way of life, dominated by the deep rumbling of the volcano and the unpredictable threat of its ever-flowing lava. Dan Johnson, BBC News, La Palma.